See, thank you for joining. So good to see you. I hope and I wish you that you're vibrating high and beautiful blessings here. So they just jump in and go. Yeah, so it's actually like that. So I'm going to talk about the how not to fit the, the actual timeline that we don't want to keep perpetrating and keep falling into because there's so much uh, into the collective consciousness that we are unaware that we are feeding the timelines that we don't want. So it's all being, this is bigger than us. We have to realize that this is so, so, so bigger than us. We don't even have a, like a glimpse of, of all the planetary events that are happening. But what, how we are actually feeding the timeline is to feeling it feeding into what is actually happening. So a lot of us has been into the research and the falling into the into the um, yeah into the trap. It's a it's all trap. I think it's, it's a trap. It's a trick. It has a tr it's it's a, it's got a catch. All these uh, the spiritual development that we have been getting and acknowledgement and realizations and like and yeah like the perpetrations of lies and injustice and falling into that and like uh, how do we keep perpetrating by just like keep feeding into the into that timeline so researching like this is all irrelevant whatever happens right now and and all in in all timelines is relevant if we are connected with our heart and our truth and our what we are what we are what we are we are love we are unconditional love when we tap into this worthiness and of this value that we are that we have is it has to be it must be felt but by itself and it's, it just has to be felt but and yeah i know that it caused a lot of frustration and a lot of um hurt yes it, it's frustration and anger that to see all this because we are humans we get to experience this humanness uh, but this is not what we are and keep choosing to uh, feeling the and by choosing this falling into this trap of of our feeling emotions and like what is happening outside and if like if the rep like if the current governments are doing this and the elite and the illuminati and the reptilians and the q uh, and the black lives matter and all lives matter that is a trap I, like if, if we keep feeding that if we keep feeding and and falling into that illusion we're gonna create more of that so we have to transcend it we have to be above it we have to be totally detached from what is happening i know it hurts for a lot of people and it feels very like sink but we need to transcend it if we don't not able to transcend it and keep centered and keep uh, focused on what is actually what is our mission and what is our mission bringing for the, the 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 heaven on earth that we deserve because we know what is our value we know that it's that's our birthright this is what we are and that's what we what deserve and it's, it's the value of what we are but we keep falling it's a lot of accounts and unfortunately like a lot of like accounts that are, have like million followers and stuff like that keep put and, and they're conscious and they're like feeding into that and then they like all the followers keep the being ships and keeping into the trap and they keep feeding the timeline like they keep doing and, and like yesterday I was talking with a friend and and yeah like we were discussing because it is like uh, when you go deep and then you go so deep and is this and you go beyond what is like in the what the media wants to sh sh show you and what like they want to like uh, per portray what is happening in the world and then that you go deep and then you go deeper and the deeper in the whole world. but there's there's a point I st I I started following falling into that trap until I realized when it's the whole COVID thing and it's like man I'm really like investing all this energy in researching and trying to figure out what is happening but what i but i fell into that and then i realized that no well the actual point is to keep 
focusing on what is important, to keep focusing on what we want. Okay, we want this heaven and earth be manifested into this reality, into this planet. So we let's just keep on that. What do you remember the say the magical say see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil? Well that's the point. Here we have to do that. Don't see it, don't listen to it, don't speak it. You are love. Speak love, speak unity, share unity, take like share positivity. Yes, you can share hope, you can share good things. But also like be mindful when you're uh, actually like um falling into the trap of the ego and th and taking things so personal that like um that just we need to transcend that. We are not those illusions we are not what we think we are we're not what we were we are not what we were told that we were we're not told that we're we are not our physical body we are not our skin color we are not our emotions we are not our nationalities we are none of that bullshit we are beings of sovereign beings of unconditional love earthlings that we are all want to a better world for our children and we have to stay with that because if we keep feeding into the into the politics, into the social, into the in, like in, injustice that is happening, into the into all that, we just keep perpetrating that, and this creates a ripple effect that it's spreading to the because in the stream of the timelines, it keeps like expanding, and then like what we want to actually expand, we want to expand unity, we want to start, we want to start, uh, expand compassion, we want to ex expand unconditional love we want to expand freedom let's share that let's share purpose let's share unity let's share, share creativity let's share art let's share uh, beautiful i don't know kitties <laughs> kitties videos of the kitties you know like all that like brings us back to our heart and our true essence and our innocence because like everything is played from this illu like illusion of the ego remember ego only sees through separation ego only sees through uh, looking for guilty and uh, guilty and the perpetrator is looking for uh, what it was broken what it was uh, damaged so in in the case in of the polit in the politics people is falling into like criticizing the politicians and like throwing them like bullshit and like they're like this is just creating more suppression and you have seen it and you've been aware of how like all the mindful and spiritual people now they are like fighting against the other because one is a Trump supporter or the other is a Trump not to like a, a <laughs> uh, uh, what is this guy's name the the old guy from the states in the case of Mexico like everybody's freaking like there's the side of the the ones that are like trusting the president and the ones that are like wanted to take them down. And it's like, man, we all in this together. We are truthers, and we and like we are fighting against each other. What the fuck, you know? Like, um, so yeah, um, it, this is all a play. This is all like, like this is just a play, and we're just observers, and we just get to observe and just that, and like observe it, but keep centered. Don't fall into the play. The play creates more play. The play creates more drama yeah it hurts it hurts to see like all these things perpetrated all things but it's not what we are and we should not keep staying in that timeline this timeline is meant to be created by us so we are oneness is within so we all get to uh, tap into that oneness within ourselves and expand that frequency towards the universe and when we are able to expand that frequency into the universe, the universe is listen. So, as I said, like if we all collectively are able to be coherent in the mind and book heart and send those frequencies out and don't fall into that traps, yeah, we are humans. We are, and we get to experience the roughness and the heaviness, but also the subtle and the blissful. So, yes, so that's what that brings to my to, to invite you to this sunday solstice ceremony that we're gonna put we're gonna have a kundalini yoga we're gonna make uh, we're gonna show you how to i'm gonna show you how to make an offering so you can put it in, in modern nature so this this offering serves to uh, be a, a paying tribute 
for what you want calling this is this the solstice is all about uh, it's all about the harvest the solstice the summer solstice summer it, it's re equivalent for the harvest the receiving receiving what we plant the seeds that we're planting so like we are able to receive and be in ease so um everything that like this is just a phase like what we're what we are experiencing in this planetary uh, shift and where all these events that are happening uh, this as i say it's just a play don't fall into that timeline don't feed it don't feel it by sharing any any anything no more posts of black matters live matters please if this just keeps creating because this this post all this comes from the unworthiness the, this all comes from the injustice so the universe if you share from that space you're gonna receive more of that space we are one we all one we all know we are we, we all equal we all we all know that we stand for life and we don't have to the fall into that illusion and just keeping the train just because it's a train of trend that everybody's doing it just keep sovereign keep yourself sovereign so in this ceremony that you all invited to be it's going to be in 11 11 we're going to have kundalini yoga which is going to help us to release all these emotional traumas and all this emotional stagnancy and heaviness and bring light into it. and it's, uh, also all this is uh, being an offer so i'm going to teach you how to bring offers so you're going to bring your candles you're going to bring a cloth you're going to bring seeds you're going to bring flowers you're going to give bring gifts and pay and we're going to do that and intentionally pray and and create this offering that we can give it to mother earth so we can uh, receive with ease I know many traditions in the age in our elders and our ancestors um, do this for example in Mexico when I'm in like praying with with elders and we get to go to the mountain and do offerings and prayers we live in the mountain we leave fruits we leave um, uh, food we leave fruits we leave uh, beverages we live even like the elders that bring like bottles of of tequila and leave it there in the mountain like with all the ofrenda you know like in there in the peruvian the peruvian tradition of the of the of the of the um, <laughs> there's like an insect but i don't get it's like a massive cockroach it's not just an insect they have like they are getting all over because it's raining it's the jungle so but yeah <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like we all get to get these uh, these offerings. Um, so let's uh, let's all put these intentions and then all these uh, uh, offerings. So we all, you all get to please like join the the ceremony is just donation based. You can donate whatever to to. It's just meant to collect uh, funds for for because I have like we have to pay for the zoom meeting we have to pay for like like things but um, <laughs> and um, yes so like uh, get join and um, maybe there's gonna be uh, I invited a, 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 a Nana Shuni who's a Mayan elder as well to join us for to the prayer to bring out bring the the Mayan uh, wisdom as well they, she's a timekeeper of the Mayans and I'm gonna bring the Toltec wisdom as well um, we're gonna do in prayer deep prayer and all this when we do ceremony in this specific day in this specific portal of, of the day where actually the day is the, the longest day of the day of the year um, we are able to uh, create that ripple effect that transcend all the season and that will help us it helps really helps like i do see ceremonies every song solstice sol uh, equinox and uh, i go to ruins i get gathered with a lot of people and we do that and the, this and the season gets really really centered it, like i really feel like a shift every time that i do this and it's just calm and tranquility and harmony and and ease and presence so if you are f like if you're free and it's in your flow we're gonna be in ceremony join us in ceremony life is a ceremony already so and we're reclaiming that sovereignty and we're gonna reclaim 
that we make we're gonna get decree to 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 all timelines to all directions to all um paths we're gonna do a, i'm gonna get a, a quantum meditation also again i'm gonna bring quantum meditation um for clearing the timelines and the karmic weights and the karmic possibilities so it's gonna be very powerful uh, meditation we're gonna be all clear and all connected with the kundalini that um amanda beautiful kundalini yoga teacher that uh, we we are co-creating uh, for the next retreat too um that also my uh, beloved best friend as well uh sherry ray is gonna take part maybe she's gonna come to the ceremony she's in bali time as well she's i mean it's gonna be beautiful so um my, i made the last post of my, my of my timeline in you can write to my email uh, send the RSVP. I'm preparing all the writing tonight for for what you need to bring, how to prepare for the ceremony. So yeah, and stop keeping tipping like yeah, just like keep yourself sovereign. Don't like don't fall. Do you have any questions about this? Because um, it's really important. It's really important that we we are the bringers. We are the ones that are gonna make the shift in and we are gonna bring that uh, heaven on earth but we need to be impeccable with that dream and act, act accordingly because if not we, we fall in our we fall out of impeccability and uh, and we we fall off that character that we already know and we have to, we we're gonna keep falling and we're gonna keep presenting that the the plan the divine plan is already is already set up but it's on us to access and accelerate the process because it can be accelerated through letting go of all the unworthiness, all the illusions, and keep ourselves sovereign, present. Because once when you tap into your sovereignty, once that you tap into who you, who you really are, a sovereign being not, doesn't need to protest, doesn't need to, to fight for anything. A really sovereign being doesn't is not afraid to die because it's already transcendent. So like there's no there's no more fight. So also for example, this mentality and this uh, dialogue among the spiritual community about like light warriors and earth warriors and the warriors, spiritual warriors. <sighs> the war is not there. There's no more war in this in this reality in this field of, of in this in this presence that I share in this uh, in this unconditional love that I'm filled with. There is no more wars. I don't consider myself a spiritual warrior, though, although some people can call me warrior. But I more like an agent. I call myself more like an agent instead of a warrior because a warrior it means that there is a war. There is like something to fight. Something to that. It's still this frequency of unworthiness. This is still this frequency of that doesn't deserve. So it needs to fight for it. So there's no more fight. The fight has been over for many years now. I'm just like in bowing, bowing and receiving and in deep gratitude and just reclaiming and just uh, remembering and bring forth this, um, this message because this is purity is pure, pure uh, vulnerability it's like yeah okay you want to give you want to send hate here i am i have two chicks i have put my first one it's my second one it doesn't matter i have my heart my heart is 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 untouchable and yeah so we need to breathe that so coming to ceremony is going to be beautiful as well uh, a lot. There's all going to be a share circle that we all get to share and our uh, and our prayers and share our how we feel and how and how I'm I'm going to encourage you to express yourself from a sovereign's place so the universe listens to you and the universe gives you back what you already are because the heaven on earth is already here it's already here you don't need to do anything just receive 
be in gratitude, stay in gratitude, stay patient, stay. There is gonna be a moment that we need to act, and the act, the the act, the action of no action is very important to do it right now. So, um, yeah, it's not that I don't care about the humans. It's not that I don't care about like any kind of lives. But yeah, the, the the thing is that people keeps perpetrating that reality. And I can tell you by experience because when I was in my in the fight stage in I I received a lot of things to fight for. And I most of the times I lost. <laughs> and the only way that I was fully able to receive that worthiness and receive that value and that in, that that dream that is already here was through silence and, and like that's and tapping into who we really are so I've been unfollowing a lot of people actually because it's just like it has been really boring just to see in the stories or in the posts just keep seeing and keep seeing and keep seeing this um, also I would suggest don't fall anymore to spiritual of like uh, energetic updates because I mean the the channelers most of the times are just talking from their own experience and experience and point of uh, uh, place of experience so this is not your experience it's just them projecting themselves but um, and it's always like the universe always get like also yeah it's like universe will just keeps blessing you and like it's just like every time it's a miracle and um also the retrogrades are happening right stop feeding into that <laughs> as well it's like we have to transcend we have to be so empowered that we don't need any celestial body imagine that's the that's where we are heading to that's where we are aiming to 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 not need any uh, to tap into the infinite realm of possibilities and don't fall into any illusion that makes us fall into into the giving our power away so if it's if it's full moon if it's uh, I mean yes we are in a planetary cycle and we use it in our advantage but like please don't fall anymore into the victim like Oh, is it like the the Merc the retrograde hits me hard and like all this. So, this is just irrelevant. Just tap into your whole existing sun that is within yourself in your heart, and just this lighting sun can light your life and path through and guide you through. The sun is always shining. And may this shine, and may this sun shine upon you. And all the things that you do, and all the life, and all the loves around you, and the infinite love of creation lift your way home every day, every day, every day, every day. Because it is, yes, the more we able to just stay in this um, state of like our way, of our way of everything, and like just like exciting just for nothing, but just keep yourself exciting for anything it's like oh it's gonna the sun it's gonna be the sunrise yeah it's like <laughs> just like keep yourself in that vibe and and yeah so hope you can make it to the ceremony if you have any questions um it's yeah come to the ceremony fernando uh sunday we're gonna be able to like bring your songs bring your instruments as well if you want to share a song if you want to um unfortunately i'm gonna pay for the zoom uh unlimited time so we can have all the time we have we want and we share all our our hearts you know it's gonna be very beautiful so a uh, weekend too because i got invited to this hot spring place portal that uh to give it's like a cacao farm with a hot springs there and i got i got invited to do ceremony Friday and Saturday of cacao there and I'm gonna be enjoying as well like I've been wanting to do hot springs in this in this in this country and haven't been able because just everything was just shut down but now it's reactivating and also 
be aware because it's gonna this is a plan and this like just just get just don't be bothered to react like but this is gonna be another wave of covid and it's gonna be another kind of lockdown or, um they just wanted to push the, their agenda just we need to just need to keep center and like how do we can bring light and all this like it's today i went to the nearest city town and some people were like still wearing masks and it's like and i'm i it's just like very funny because this whole thing is just an illusion and yeah like now we have created this separation like um and it's just funny it's just funny so like you just need to uh, yeah equanimity yeah yes equanimity just keep yourself centering that like um, transcend all illusions like see like I have seen the two worlds as one and I hope you see it too and I wish that you too so you just stay in one with one and always with one because that one is the one the only one that uh, will bring us back and through all of us like all these eight people if we quantumly connect with that one and we are and we tap into that uh, sovereign state we that ripple effect get into our relations in in one way or another we need to trust that this it is happening because lo it's it, love has won love has won already it's a timeline it's a process it's not a linear timeline it's not not the time doesn't exist remember that and uh, which is yet we we just experience the process but the, the acceleration of the process depends on us or we keep feeding into that timeline by sharing posts of life lives matter what, what i see when i see every, every time that i see a life lives matter post is like oh unworthiness oh unworthiness unworthiness because it just keeps repeating that that's the that's the message that's the message behind that wound it's like uh, and I'm not being I'm not kind of any kind of I, I live and give my service to life you know I've been I as some people might know here and like I have been experienced uh, su uh, white supremacy <laughs> but I was in, I was sent to prison by a judge that was white and he had the power to give me sentence when all the all the circumstances were in my favor to not go to prison, but I was in a white in, the, in London, in a in a white uh, country, and this judge basically said like, even though you have everything in your favor to get out of this with a suspended sentence, I want to make an example out of you by giving you a suspended like a, a, a four months in in Pentonville prison. Even the prosecutor was like surprised, it's like he could give him like a freaking suspended sentence. But yeah, we need to keep ourselves impeccable and like act accordingly. Um, that 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 experience also like put me on my knees. Like, I really don't um, don't. I mean, I, the reason I have all this understanding and all these messages is because I have my soul have moved me into tests that have break all kinds of my of my illusions all uh, many deaths i have in this lifetime and just to understand to have deep understanding of what is true and what is real and what is like actually what is matters yes I was soy mexicano. bueno no soy mexicano yo no soy mexicano si sí, soy mexicano when i say i'm from the america si sí. <laughs> Like the thing is like I'm I'm in this point of my journey now. Whenever they ask me where I'm from, I I kind of like feel it like I don't want to say where I'm from because I don't identify where I'm from anymore. I don't identify myself as as just because my passport says I'm Mexican. I like I if I if I will have like a way to express my my where I come from is like yeah I come from the area of the planet that the Aztecs and the Mayans lived you know <laughs> that's what that's what I would say because like when I when you say I'm from the United States or I'm from 
X, X, Y, or Z country, you're access, you're signing a contract to that it's defining you, you were like by where you were born. So, like if you're if and you're choosing by si saying this, you're choosing to carry all that bullshit, all that timeline, all the illusions that that cre that that country created, which you are not. So like. Uh, I have unprogrammed myself in such a deep levels that I don't consider myself as just anything but a human being on earth. I tap into my cosmic origin and I tap into my into my cosmic family and I have really strong connection with them, meetings with them, with the other Acturians. But it's not like I I. <laughs> I I'm, it's it's like I I'm not go like it's just the um um it's not that I uh, I say a lot of that because I I mean this most of the informations are just for me and I translate them so I can I can give them to to the people you know dónde podría hacer una ceremonia contigo me encantaría explorar el zapito wow en dónde estás yo ahora I'm in uh, I'm going to change in Spanish, but I don't know if you understand English. Pero, um, uh, um, you, you, I'm, I'm, voy a hacer un retiro. I'm going to do a retreat in August in Bacalar. Seven days of immersion, of deep immersion. So whoever is called to come to Bacalar, a beautiful lagoon of a blue, celestial blue color, uh, seven days for uh, workshops, yoga, aerobic and food, Kundalini yoga, medicines, cambo, ayahuasca, bufo, sweat lodge, cacao, dance, expression, swimming, everything, magic, 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 magic. Because, um, yeah, Acturian is such a. I'm I'm part of many Acturian groups. And it's just such a, it's such a beautiful frequency. I just like, like it's totally I am. And it's like the Acturians are such a, like, we are such a funny. We are like, we make our sense of humor is really, really specific, which uh, it is, it's kind of misunderstood by the spiritual community because it's kind of like a, it's, it's like an ironic, it's not dark humor, but it's like just, it's like a very, like, we just, we just don't play any role. And it's just very funny how, like, because like, for example, what it, it was like this group that uh, they, we made a, a group chat and they were talking about like how they deal with uh, entities and demons. And like, we all agree to say we're like, we see a demon and instead of like, wanting to expel it oh get the fuck out of here like he's like come on come here i'm gonna hug you and then the like whenever i have like uh and ceremonies like in ayahuasca that there's like entities deep entities comes and like it's like instead of like doing the whole uh shamanic drama of like i'm just gonna hey i hug you and then they just run away and it's just so funny uh but yeah like um it's very funny. Uh, it's, it's just like so. Yeah, if, you, if like if you are interested in joining this ceremony Sunday, come. It will be amazing to have like a really big group of people and just with sharing and like we all get to share the worth and like this quantum meditation about clearing your the karmic. And clearing karmic weight is really the one I'm preparing. I'm channeling it and I'm bringing it training. It's like really amazing. Um, I I guided a, a client a couple of weeks ago through through killing through uh, healing all these uh, karmic weights and basically you from your energetic birth through all your lives to here and now through all possible timelines future. You just decreeing yourself as a, a sovereign being, and it's really powerful. So, um, so yeah. Any questions? Please join. Um, and yeah, just don't feed into the trauma in the planetary drama. Don't feed it anymore. We are love. Love has won. That's it. Heart, vision, 
coherence yes happens and just let the, the thing unfold just sit and relax and just I mean yeah we need to be compassionate and we and have empathy for other people's process because it's and everybody gets their own process but everybody's living in different timeline in the different reality and it's just like it's just the, the becomingness of like one and that one will unfold sooner or later and and yeah, we just need to keep ourselves joyful and innocent. When you see yourself as an innocent and you see everything, act, every act of violence, every act of injustice, every act of treason, every act of uh, anything, you just see it through the kids, the innocent sides. And I see like how um, becoming and embodying this innocence, this innocence and change the whole paradigm totally like healing when you achieve ultimate healing is when you achieve like your childness and the and the authenticity because ch like you know like when you have your yes you know um because um the that's that's the ultimate when you don't see any Hold any crotch and anything, just like, just like see it through the eyes of any some kids and 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 then you are just authentic. You don't need to prove yourself to anyone. You need to, when they when feedback comes, yeah, whatever. I know what I am. Just you you realize that your medicine is not meant to be received by everyone, and that's okay. Like a. I used to be that person that wanted to be like connect with everyone and I wanted to bring everyone aboard like back in my back in my partying days like I would love to bring them all because I used to do a lot of partying and I would to like all my tribe come to all the parties and like but then I realized like I mean I'm carrying everyone like and I'm like it's not it's not actually that fun to carry everyone and take like take care of everyone like I can't make everyone happy you know like so your medicine is meant to be received by certain individuals like and I'm really grateful really and really bowing to you because uh, you are able to receive you know they having people coming in and coming out and they might not resonate may just and it's fine it's fine it's like you just get to be yourself you know like I'm not I'm, I'm not here for the likes or I mean I want this message to get as much people possible you know like but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fall into what I'm not and like there's a lot of bullshit in spirituality there's a lot of like false falseness and those like and then like you meet all these people and they are not as I mean, as as a connected as it like, they, it just feels very fake, and and then they see me like, and they're like, and they just see you like, oh, I don't know, like it happens, but it's just like see you like, like why do you have something I don't have? I want what you have, and it's like, and but I don't like you, and it's like it's okay, it's fine, I love you still, brother. Like it's fine, it's fine, like no, like. I know that uh, authenticity is being it's being acknowledged by people and people knows and people feels resonating and feels and also sometimes the reason they don't they're not able to receive the medicines because they envy what they don't have and and it's okay no one here is better than anyone no one in here is less special than anyone it's just that they have to tap into their own authenticity and and they uh, and it's fine. You need just to love yourself radically more. I believe you can do this. That's compassion, because like the one of the things that uh, compassion has been uh, distorted is that ah uh, you have compassion for compassion ah uh, poor poor guy or poor person they're they're going through this. Compassion is like more like it has more the inherent message that I believe in you. 
I believe you can assist to that. I believe you can, we can do better. I believe, I believe. But is, is we need to change that paradigm too. There's no competition either. No one is here competing against each other. Like, like um, so my, the program I was born through was a Mexican program, no? But let's say, but when I went, I was living in the States, and like the uh, the Ameri the United States program, um, the United States is based more on competition of like acquiring and power and like, and you can see I, I was in California and you could see clearly how a lot of the spiritual community was like into this competition and like this capitalization of the spirituality, and it was just all distorted. Also with like the medicine world there. And there is amazing world in, in a lot of places too, for example, like doing ayahuasca ceremonies for 60 people. Like when you like, that's like to just like just monopolizing and capitalizing the sacred, you know, you can like, and it's just like a really good number for ceremony in ayahuasca is 15 people, you know, like 20 maximum, but like 60. And then like you, you get invited, well, I got to get invited and then, well, because I'm really in tune with the medicine and I tap into not the physical, but the etherical and I can see and feel everyone and see what is happening in the, in the ethereals. And it's just like a, a mess of like purge of, of etherical purge. And and yeah, more, a lot of people in the in the in the spiritual in the medicine world in the states, like just because they can play beautiful songs, they say like, oh, I can hold an ayahuasca ceremony. Then I'm just gonna buy some kilos of ayahuasca, and then I'm gonna start going holding this and doing these concerts with medicine. But it's not actually a medicine. It's not actually a shaman. It's not actually a you know, like, uh, like and then the amount of clearings that we have to do or they have to do or they don't even do it and then people get caught into the entity attachment because one entity went out and then jumped into the other and it's just like a, a beautiful mess it's all serving a purpose <laughs> it's just very funny it's very funny but yeah keep yourself grounded keep yourself sovereign what else? Do you have any questions? And if you feel to call the, to come to the retreat, which actually, well, for those that I know, I'm stranded in Costa Rica, and I was doing some retreats here, and the pan, and the pandemic happened, and the whole lockdown happened, and I don't, I'm, I mean, I'm very grateful, super grateful that I'm here that I'm able to be in nature, in the jungle, in really like a beautiful portal, eating from the air, and it's like, wow. Like, I really must have, like, I really keep, like, uh, um, had the jackpot, you know, like, and I, and I'm, and it's not luck, because it's like, just rec rec like, uh, it's not luck that I was here, it was alignment. So I'm really grateful that I'm here. I don't know, I haven't been able, I mean, I'm not struggling with wanting to go out of, of the country. The borders are closed for people to get in. And you can go out, but, peop but the flight tickets are like thousand, like um, uh, $1,500 to $2,000 for a flight to go to Mexico. So it's like, why would I pay that amount of money? and they like what I've been hearing is that the the cancel the flights just you get a ticket flight ticket and then your flight gets cancelled from here to the because there's no fluency of flights there no one is coming from Mexico so there's no flights that go out to Mexico you know like so they have to bring special flights and and that's just like just gets postponed your your flight but for example from the united states to mexico which both countries are open have both open borders they are uh, fluent fluency of flight so like if you are in the states and you want to travel to mexico you actually you can do a just normal travel 
because we have fluency. So my team and I, we were thinking of when we were doing the, the, the next retreat. Well, I was supposed to bring some people to Peru in, in April, in early April. Um, I had the whole group set, but Peru closed borders, the pandemic happened. I had to cancel that retreat. So I've been staying here. Uh, they keep postponing the border, the borders of, of um, reopening of the borders for foreigners. They were supposed to open it for this yesterday, but now they push it to the 30th of June. And I think it's, this has been happening for the past three months, two months. They said first May, then June, then now is, and now all the foreigners that are stranded here. We get normally you get like three months visa, but now um, they told you they told us like well now the, all the foreigners you are allowed to stay till the till May now till June now it's till August, so I I don't like I don't really think that this is gonna go to back to normal. I could go to uh, my my beautiful friend, my uh, business partner, which I do the retreats, that she's a yoga master, the, one of the most incredible teachers of yoga. Um, she's stranded in Bali. Poor hair. <laughs> she's been in this beautiful Bali. So I imagine that she's also having a great time there. And it's just in alignment. So, She's stranded there, I'm trying to hear. I'm not suffering, I don't want to go anywhere. Like actually I'm getting a, a motorcycle. This this week I'm I'm about to buy a motorcycle to travel around the country. Uh which is uh, really exciting. Um and yeah, I just I just have to trust that everything unfolds. Actually, all this thing has been like showing me that and revealing to me that uh, here is a I, there's a reason why I'm here. So and they have been showing up a lot of things. They have been calling me for creating a, a community and uh, making uh, events and stuff like that. So, uh, pulling more community together and and creating more intentional events and gatherings and so I'm just surrendering enjoying it in gratitude you know like um, and yeah I get to see Macaos every every now and then and then they love I love these Macaos they just fly in pairs in couples and they just fly and and like beautiful frogs everywhere frogs toads it's heaven right now. It's rainy season. There's cows. I get to go to pick up mushrooms, my mushrooms every now and then. I eat them. My journey. I, uh, I yeah, it's pura vida here. So. So yeah, that brings me to. I mean, I'm here. I got to be here because I follow my dreams. I, and, choose to live out any timeline that it was not serving. So yeah, and actually Fernando, like I was thinking on you. Now you're with like, uh, hi, whiskey lover. Um, because uh, we are starting to create land, bring um, uh, buy land soon. And we need an architect and I know you, I, you're, you are pretty visionary architect. So uh, maybe you want to be part of the project. Uh, as as in the fall, I will talk to you about that. But it's all in divine timing. Um, but yeah, we need to gather together. We need to go back to to earth to, to support local. Um, the, like the pro one of the projects that I've been participating is like local farmers uh, making a. a like a farmer's market but more like a far like a gathering for uh, not just farmers but medicine holistic healing activities artists so art 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 is one also a great medicine 
that people need so if you are an artist and you are like if you always wanted to create art use this time to to empower yourself to create to ambition you know like I know I know I know because I've been my I I I experienced my first lockdown last year from June last year till December because I was forced by the universe to n not move I was my plans were cancelled like everything was like like and I was just got to be in the mountains and um and and yeah and like and and I know what you're going through most of you if you like um probably like a lot of anxiety probably a lot of like frustration because your plans got like cancelled and probably like a lot of boredom too probably a lot of uh, procrastination so if, like just you need to be very like determined okay I have this time and this time is a blessing so how I'm gonna make the best of it create create ambition like there the the light alliance the earth alliance the all our guys are sending us right now a lot of inspiration a lot of like um ideas a lot of like um things uh to bring forth so use this time to 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 inspire yourself and create and and sit down and in silence and I know like we get out to be away with our phones but try to be as much in nature get the sunlight get inspired write journal all ideas what you want to dream what you hola oh long time no see uh, what you want to what you want what is what is your dream life look like you know like what do you want and then what do you need to do that and okay I need this and this and this so and send these prayers out you know like thank you universe for sending me this thank you universe for sending me that thank you universe for bringing this and just trust that you're gonna be divinely guided um, so yeah it's it's beautiful like I, get, I want to do a lot of things I want to I was also supposed to in these times I was supposed to go to to be in Europe to do ceremonies actually but all things is good trying and as sister I was like doing co-creation co-creating in in Guatemala she's stranded in Brazil in Bahia she's stranded in a cacao farm but we were supposed to be doing retreats in Europe and every all, all those plans are got cancelled you know so use this time don't feed these timelines don't feed any more like no more black lives matter no more more like injustice because those the only this this creates more perpetuating and feeding the distorted timeline you we all want a better world and i bet you want freedom i want you want abundance you, you want free movement of countries and this heaven on earth that we all deserve we deserve it because it's our divine right and in our soul's truth. But if we keep falling into this perpetrate in the falling into sharing unworthiness, sharing injustice, sharing uh, that's what we're gonna get. Because it is a ripple effect. It comes from fear, it comes from separation, it comes from lack. So I know it's painful. I know you think that you're doing something. I know that you want to support and inform, but most, most, mostly, all the bro, I probably all the followers that you have, all of like, um, are into the same movement. You know, you're not informing anyone new. You're not making anyone a favor. So, it's just you. You're just feeling your own ego, a need of recognition. But you, if you recognize yourself as a sovereign and essence, in this essence, you need to act accordingly and impeccable to that essence. So the only time that you feel you give your power away is when you choose to, to fall into that and sharing this and sharing that. And like, that's just keep perpetrating the separation. So... 
Join me in ceremony on Sunday. We'll get to talk more deeply. Pray, meditation, kundalini yoga, making an offering, putting an offering with, with beautiful things that you want to offer to Mama Earth from, from candle seeds, perfumes, essential oils. Like we're gonna wrap it and we're gonna make an offering. So you, this summer is summer, it's time for receiving, for harvest. It's, it's all in all traditions, in non-Asian traditions. Summer solstice is a celebration for giving thanks for what we are receiving and clearing any possible timeline of, of, of uh, blockages. Or, so we get to do that in the ceremony. And when we get to all together, we, the energy gets amplified and gets to all our relations. And, and come and join. It's, it's free if you want to. If you want to donate, donate will be deeply, deeply appreciated because that's how you support my journey. I am stranded here. I need to pay rent. I'm not staying for free. I need to pay food. Costa Rica is pretty expensive. It's a pretty overpriced country, to be honest. But I'm, that, I'm doing this with love, and you know? So thank you so much. I have 20 seconds. I'm just gonna do up, upload and join me. And send me an email in, it's in my post. Last post about um the the their ceremony thank you all i love you bye bye